Hello, hello, coffee friends. Today we are trying nootropic coffees, which could potentially enhance my brain functionality. So let's get brewing and find out. Hello, my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Homegrounds, a place for you to go to learn more about brewing and enjoying better quality coffee right at home. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of our new videos just like this one. Now right away I want to say that I am filming this introduction after I've already tried all these coffees for a couple reasons. First off, I want to point out that I am no doctor nor a medical professional, so tasting all of these and talking about their brain enhancing qualities is all just my personal experience and my opinions of how they affected my mood or my ability to get work done. And your personal experiences after drinking any of these coffees could be similar or not at all similar to mine. And second, a word on transparency. All these coffees are gonna be listed in the description down below using affiliate links, which if you're not familiar with those, they essentially give you the exact same price that you would normally pay for these products, some of which we may even have discount codes down below. But on top of that, they help out us and our channel so that we can continue making content just like this. So we're not trying to sell anything on you. We're just trying to give you the option to find these coffees and help us out so we can keep making videos for you. So all that being said, what is it that we're tasting today? Well, we're trying nootropic coffees, which if you've never heard of nootropics, here's a definition for you. Nootropics are drugs, supplements, and other substances that are claimed to improve cognitive function, particularly executive functions, memory, creativity, or motivation in healthy individuals. Hence why I wanted to make sure I made it clear earlier that I can only vouch for my personal experience trying these coffees. Now some of these use things like mushroom powders in their coffees in order to do that. Some use tea or have some other interesting ingredients in there. But we're going to be tasting each of these coffees, talking about my personal experience and what I liked and disliked about each of them. So all that being said, let's hop into the tastings. All right, so first coffee I'm going to be trying is by Four Sigmatic. If you've been around this channel for a while, you may remember that I've actually tried this coffee right here. I tried it in the video where I reviewed all of Joe Rogan's favorite coffees, and my opinions about it were pretty neutral. It actually didn't taste bad, but it didn't really taste good. It was kind of just there. I also got their Balance blend, which has a few more things other than just mushrooms. It has coffee, ashwagandha extract, eleuthero extract, pulsi extract, chaga extract. That's it. To be honest, I don't know if all of those things are mushrooms, but I'm excited to try it. Since I've already tried this Think Blend, I'm gonna be trying the Balance. They only sell pre-ground coffees because they're mixing in like ground mushrooms and stuff. And so I don't know how the grind is compared to what I usually brew with my Haro V60s, but I'm gonna go brew it and find out. Okay, first thoughts, smell-wise, not bad actually. So let's give it a quick taste. Yeah, it's not bad. It's maybe a little bit darker than I would usually like in coffee. I will drink it, no problems. Uh, so I am going to drink all of this while I get some work done and I will fill you in on how I feel like it's going, if I'm noticing anything, and my final thoughts about this coffee. Okay, I'm back. It's actually a couple days later because I wanted to give this Four Sigmatic coffee an extra day. Uh, I thought one day was just not enough, so I'm gonna give every coffee two days of trying it to see if my productivity improves, my brain improves, whatever. I didn't mind the taste of this coffee at all. And also, I will say that I was quite productive. Uh, I was able to get a lot done. I had a couple meetings where I just felt a little more with it. I don't know, like I said at the beginning of this video, all of this is just hearsay. I don't know if these coffees are actually affecting my brain at all. It could all just be placebo as well. That being said, this coffee was easy to drink and I felt very productive after drinking it. So take that as you will. Now today is a new day. So goodbye Four Sigmatic and hello Mastermind Coffee. 
Now Mastermind Coffee is kind of interesting. They have a few options on their website, all of which they claim are nootropic coffees, but a few of which are just coffee that they claim is nootropic, which, eh. This one, however, is their Hyper Focus Blend, which is a combination of ground coffee and yerba mate which yerba mate is actually a tea that has a lot of helpful benefits in it. And typically you actually drink it with a special filtered straw. So we are going to try this Hyper Focus blend. Let's go brew it and see how it tastes. Okay, all brewed and... Can I help you? You're not... Oh my goodness. You're not being helpful. Can you get out of the shot? I'm definitely not looking forward to this coffee as much as the Four Sigmatic. Overall, it just, it smelled and looked a lot darker. Anyways, let's try this out. It smells like dark roast and carbon. It's not terrible, actually. Along with the sort of carbony dark roast flavors, that you get in here, there is sort of this herbal sort of taste that reminds me of yerba mate. So let's check in later after I've had some of this coffee. All right, a couple of days of drinking this Mastermind coffee. Taste-wise, it was fine. A small hint of the yerba mate tea taste, but mostly just sort of dark roasted coffee nothing super special. And as far as the brain enhancing aspect of it, honestly, with the Four Sigmatic coffee, I felt like I was more productive and I was more with it and getting a lot of work done. Whereas this, it just felt like a normal day of drinking coffee. Uh, so take that as you wish. But it's a new day, so let's move on to our next coffee, Chimera Coffee. Coffee with a K. Now, Chimera is another coffee company that only focuses on nootropic coffees. First, we have the Focus Blend. This is coffee with L-theanine. Theanine? Theanine? L-the-a-9. Uh, which says right here, it amplifies alpha brain waves, improves mental endurance, and enhances awareness. L-theanine is an amino acid. It's commonly found in, like, teas. So it's nothing, like out there like mushrooms or whatever. That's this coffee, but then they also have the Amber Roast. In this coffee, there is coffee, alpha GPC, taurine, L-theanine, and DMAE, parentheses DNL, which I don't know what most of those things are. So let's get brewing this Amber Roast. All right, so the Chimera Amber Roast Smells good. I actually don't mind that at all. Taste wise, it's on the medium to medium dark roast level. I will be more than happy drinking this for the next couple days. Come back in a couple days, talk about my thoughts on this coffee. All right, so I've been brewing with this coffee for a couple days. As far as taste goes, like I said before, I actually enjoy the taste of this coffee. As far as enhancing my brain or whatever my day-to-day -day activities. I wouldn't say I felt that different than just drinking normal coffee. Obviously it felt good enough to rearrange this room, but I wouldn't say I felt as productive as I did with the Four Sigmatic, whatever that means. Now, last up on our list is probably the most different option we have, and that is Bulletproof Coffee. Now maybe you've heard of the Bulletproof Coffee beverage, but there's actually a company called Bulletproof Coffee. So right here I have just the original coffee and then I actually have a couple things that I'm gonna be adding to it, which I'll be talking about in a bit. Let's go brew the coffee. Okay, we have brewed the coffee and I should have mentioned this earlier, but this is our first one that is actually whole bean because this is just coffee. There's nothing in this yet. So first let's just give that a taste. It's a pretty normal tasting coffee. Kind of just tastes like chocolate, nutty, medium dark roast. Pretty okay. Now we're going to make bulletproof coffee out of it. We need two things. First is grass-fed butter or ghee. This is the bulletproof branded ghee. And then the second thing is going to be MCT oil, which is derived from 100% pure coconuts, 
Not sure exactly what it is, but we are going to be blending one teaspoon of each of these things into this coffee. Now I will say that on their website, Bulletproof Coffee did say that it should take up to a week to notice the effects of doing this, which just to be fair to the other coffees, I'm not gonna be doing, so take that as you will with this test, but that's what this whole video is. So let's blend this up. Minus one point to Bulletproof for making this so difficult to open. I'm kidding. They said 20 to 30 seconds. <laughs> too high, too high. All right, let me clean this up so my dog stops licking it off the floor. Okay, that's all good. I forgot to change my shirt, but we will hide that. All right, it's nice and frothy, kind of like a latte. Cheers. It's good. Doesn't taste bad. It's obviously not sweet because there's no sugar or anything in this. But yeah, I'm totally fine drinking that for the next couple days. All right, so I'm gonna drink this one today and make another one tomorrow, and we will be back, well, for you in just a second. Okay, so it's been two days of attempting to brew Bulletproof coffee and just spilling it all over my kitchen. But after those two days, I have a few thoughts about this. First off, I could see it potentially having effects after say giving it a week of trying it. Those two days, I sort of felt more alert, but not as much as say the Four Sigmatic coffee, which I felt immediately. But the biggest thing for me was that I didn't really enjoy drinking this. Even just for two days, I didn't love that taste of butter in my coffee. Honestly, if I had the option, I would probably just make a little shot of butter in the MCT oil to go on the side of my coffee instead of blending it all together. I just didn't love drinking a whole cup's worth of that. So that being said, I probably won't be drinking Bulletproof coffee in the future, but it was worthwhile to at least try it. Okay, so what are my final thoughts after trying all of these coffees? Well, let me reiterate, like I said in the beginning, that I am not a medical professional. I can't vouch for the validity of the statements made by these companies. So this is all just my personal experience trying each of these coffees for two days. But all that being said, I noticed the most after drinking the Four Sigmatic coffee. I just felt like I got the most work done. I felt the most present and alert in my mind. But as far as taste goes, I probably enjoyed the Camara coffee the most. It just felt like the brightest and had the nicest acidity in it. The Mastermind coffee, I didn't really have any super strong preferences either way. I didn't feel like it enhanced my brain all that much. I didn't love the taste, but it had Yerba Mate in it, which a lot of people like the benefits of that. So if that's something you're looking for, then that is an option. And then for Bulletproof Coffee, it just honestly wasn't for me, but I'm sure that after giving your body some time to adjust to this, it could have some positive benefits for you. So I hope that this video was at least somewhat helpful if you've been looking into nootropic coffees. Your experience using any of these could be very different from mine, but at least you have a sense of the idea of how these coffees taste before buying them. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy brewing.